Is it possible to make an automated trading system or trading bot with TradingView? TradingView is one of the most popular platforms when it comes to charting for retail traders. It's super easy to use. You don't have to download anything. You just go to their website, type in a ticker symbol for stocks or crypto, and, and instantly you get a nice visible chart for that asset. TradingView has tons of custom indicators uh, when it comes to technical analysis and also fundamental details for different ticker symbols. A lot of the most popular communities when it comes to influencers and subreddit communities use TradingView to chart for their symbols. Now the question is, can you make a trading bot for TradingView? I've actually built a couple trading systems for clients when it comes to TradingView. So it is possible. Now, how do you do it? How do you build a trading bot with TradingView? So TradingView does connect with different brokerages, including TD Ameritrade. However, you can't automate trades, meaning you can manually place trades on their platform, but you can't write code or automate some type of software to make trades for you. Now, with that being said, TradingView has a feature called webhooks, okay? So what a webhook is, is basically when an action occurs, you can actually send data uh, to a website, essentially, to an endpoint, okay? Now that data could be, say, an SMA. When an SMA crosses over, you send an event, or when a stock gaps up, you send an event. There's lots of lots of opportunities with these webhooks, and you can attach a webhook to an indicator or symbol uh, with different rules using their user interface. Then once you send that event or action, you can then program your brokerage to receive that action and place the trade for you, okay? So essentially TradingView is sending you these events or alerts and on your website or, or end system, um, you would be placing the trade on your brokerage using their API. Now, if you're not a coder, if you don't know how to develop this at all, you'd probably have to hire someone to do it for you, but I'm letting you know it is possible. So now we're gonna dive in and I'm actually gonna show you one of my trading systems that uses TradingView um, and kind of show you how it works on the back end. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you the kind of steps to set up your TradingView trading bot. Like I said, if you're not a coder or a programmer, you would have to kind of hire someone or work with someone on this because there will be coding required. Um, like I said, you cannot build trading bots directly into the TradingView uh, platform. However, you can get it started and set up with that. So what you do is go to tradingview.com, obviously. I'll type in a, a symbol. I'll type in, I don't know, Tesla. Flip a chart. Okay. And then, you know, whatever indicator you want to use or, you know, whatever kind of system you're using, you would apply to the chart. So I just have a, a moving average um, uh, indicator applied to this chart. And the next part is, I believe it's alert. There we go. Alert. Okay. So you create an alert on a symbol. Um, and, you know, you can set the settings. The one setting you do have to set is webhook URL. Oh, it looks like you have to sign up. For I thought I thought it was free. Um, it looks like you have to sign up for TradingView to get. I guess I thought I could do alerts without making an account. That's unfortunate, guys. Um, okay, I, I guess you have to upgrade to Pro to use alerts. This must be new. Yeah, 10 server side alerts. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I wanted to show you the free way, but um, I guess you do have to sign up to the pro version of TradingView. Um, so if you're a free member, unfortunately you can't use this. Um, here, I'll sign up to the 30 day free trial for now. Um, I'll do next. Sign up to this. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you can do this with the free way um, or the free account way, you might need to, um, you know, if you find a way, let me know in the comments below. But uh, I'm going to now refresh my screen here and create an alert, webhook URL. So now with the webhook URL, you would essentially, um, you know, work with a programmer or if you know how to code, you put in your, you know, website, obviously host name. Um, so for example, you know, my website 
maybe be more specific and do like HTTPS, you know, my website slash trading view webhook. Okay. And then in the webhook, you can send a name. So we can call it a cross maybe. And, um, you know, set the message of what's happening. You could say maybe buy Tesla or, you know, buy Tesla five shares or whatever. You can customize whatever you want the um, message to be and then use that message on your back end to actually submit a trade uh, using the brokerage API. And there's different con conditions you can set for with TradingView. So crossing up, crossing down, you know, entering a channel, moving up, moving down, that sort of thing. Um, so say crossing up, um, you know, when the, the value, so the close price um, crosses up, you could do um, when the volume crosses above something. So you have lots of customization tools here in TradingView that would customize the alert. And then when the alert is sent, you know, you hit create. Anytime that happens, it's gonna send data to this website. And then from there, you would read the data and perform a buy or sell operation, say on TD Ameritrade's API, um, interactive brokers, whatever it may be. Um, you can listen for that event to happen. Okay. So this would kind of be the first step. The second step would actually be, you know, listening to the event. So I'll show you an example here with my code. So in this example, I actually used, um, in this example, I actually used Node.js um, as a web server um, on the Heroku platform. But basically I was listening for a post request with this URL. So this post would have to match up with this. So in this case, my post would be, you know, forward slash um, your trading view webhook. And then um, I'd be able to get the, the message here, right? So um, you can send the message as a string. You could send the message as JSON as well. If you kind of formatted it um, as JSON. So maybe, maybe you have, you know, curly braces here and saying, you know, symbol is, you know, Tesla quantity QTY is, I don't know, five shares, whatever you want to trade. Right. And then in your Node.js post request, you, uh, you know, the request dot body, you could, um, you know, parse it, parse the, the message, um, which I think should come out like, so, so you should be able to do request dot body dot, you know, symbol, for example, and, uh, you know, then you're good to go. And then you can, you know, submit the trade on the API and then handle the alerts on the trading view side. So the, what are the benefits of doing this over say creating a strategy from scratch? So I'd say the major benefit with trading view is there's a lots of custom indicators that you can't access, uh, building on your own. Or if you did build it on your own, you'd have to code it yourself. Obviously not all trading systems use technical analysis, but if you have some that do that trading view has a ton of built-in indicators and then custom indicators that other people have built that you can use. So that would be the major benefit. And also in terms of like a user interface and actually being able to view the chart, it's nice to see that on the trading view end and then just have your back end be the execution for the trades. Okay. So very powerful platform. Obviously it's a bit more complicated than say using TD Ameritrade or Interactive Brokers APIs from scratch or Alpaca. Um, but with those, using those from scratch, you could build up a system faster, but when it comes to a user interface and actually being able to view the chart, it's gonna be more difficult. And building that yourself, I don't recommend. I, I, you know, I don't recommend reinventing the wheel and using a great uh, charting software like TradingView, um, NinjaTrader, that sort of thing. So that'd be the benefit. Um, the con is obviously there's a bit more setup. Either way, you're gonna have to either have some coding or developing experience or work with someone that knows how to uh, set this up. And you'd have to have, you know, obviously your own running server to, to listen to those endpoints uh, using the webhook URL. So anyways, to, to answer the, the video titles question, it is possible to build trading bots and automated trading systems using TradingView. You just can't submit the trades on TradingView's platform. You have to kind of build your own backend system to do that. So anyways, that's the video guys. I hope you found a ton of value. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps me out so, so much and leave a comment below uh, on what you want to see next. I'm going to be continuing the series for the interactive brokers trading bot. Um, but I, I like kind of making videos in between just on different topics. And then I'll, you know, continue that series and, and hopefully finish that out uh, for February. So anyways, this is Jake here. I hope you found a ton of value in the video and we'll see you next week.